Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and we are continuing the quick impression reviews of used cowboy boots today with the Tony Llama 6210 cowboy boot. Let's get into it. Old boots got soul and I carry on this way and we get better. Last year and before the pandemic started, I was all about going to Western stores and doing quick impressions of boots right there in store so that you guys had a better idea of what to look for when you are shopping online. But since the pandemic hit, I really can't go to all these Western stores like I used to, so I'm taking the opportunity to take a look at some vintage cowboy boots that you can find on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or other places online so that you have a better idea of what you're looking for in the older models. So today, I have a Tony Llama model number 6210. Now, I was looking around about this boot, and this is everywhere. You can find this boot pretty much on every single website that sells anything. I found it on eBay, I found it on Poshmark, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. In fact, back in the day, Tony Lama used to use this boot in a ton of his promotional material. So this is everywhere and it is a beautiful boot, so I don't blame them for using it in all this promotional material. What we have here is a Cognac Vamp and Counter with a medium round toe and a nice one inch and five eighths heel, and that's stacked leather, by the way. Uh, we got a chocolate color up here on the shaft with a stitch pattern that Tony Llama uses on a ton of their boots. If you see this stitch pattern, odds are it's probably Tony Llama, and it is a beautiful fern-like stitch pattern with red, orange, and yellow thread. It looks great, love the look of it. Down here, we also have a hard leather outsole. It has seen some wear, and you can also see that it's been worn quite frequently. It's pretty broken in, but there's lots of life left in this boot. With brass nails and lemon wood pegs here, and you can kind of see that the brass nails are corroding a little bit, and they're a little bit green, but the lemon wood pegs are still pretty much the same color as they were when these boots were made and of course you like to see lemon wood pegs in a pair of cowboy boots because the lemon wood expands in a similar way that leather does when wet so it keeps everything together here no matter how wet the boot is these lemon wood pegs should stay there no matter what when brass nails can recede out of the boot because they're not going to expand and when that leather expands the leather hole just gets a little bit bigger, allowing the brass nail to come out a little bit. It doesn't happen very often, but it can happen, which is why you like to see the lemon wood pegs in here because there's less a chance of that happening than what it would happen with the brass nails. On the inside, we have all leather. This is a traditionally made boot, guys, made in the USA. So all leather lining in the inside. One thing that I think you'll notice in a lot of these older boots uh, is that the leather lining is pretty soft, especially around the foot. As an insole, we have hard leather, and that's how cowboy boots used to be made. It's the traditional way of making cowboy boots. It's a great option because hard leather will form to your foot. Even if you get a pair of used boots, that leather will reform to your foot, and there's really nothing to fix with it in the future. If you get a pair of boots with an insole, that insole will eventually rot away and disintegrate and you'll have to get another insole to replace that. You don't have to do that with hard leather insoles. It's like this forever, which means you have to do less with it over the course of its life. And it's just simple. There's nothing wrong with a simple boot. In fact, that's the best kind of boot in my opinion. Now let's try this boot on. All right, so here is the Tony Llama 6210. It's a great looking boot, really simple. I love the cognac color of this. Just looks spectacular. This is size 11E, just a single E. Now they don't make a lot of single E boots anymore, so this is kind of a rare size. So if you have a true E width foot, going used and trying to find you know, a slightly used pair is definitely the way to go. So this is kind of tight around my toes, not too bad. It seemed like 
The previous owner had a similar problem because you can see that the leather does go over the welt a little bit, but it's not bad. I got these for around $20 from Goodwill, and that's a good deal. You know, if, if you are trying to get a pair of boots on a budget, sometimes you might need to make compromises in your sizing, and sometimes you can make a pair of boots work. Not saying that you should, but if you really want boots, it's definitely an option. This boot still has its original outsole, and you can tell because it still has the brass nails and pegs on there. Usually, the first time a boot is resold, you'll see a half sole, which means you'll get like a line through the sole itself in the middle, and that's where they just put on the half soles. Sometimes you might come across a boot that has been resold with a full sole, and that is more difficult to tell. You kind of got to see the way that the boot was made traditionally. A lot of cobblers up here in the north will often just use brass nails, and they're not the same kind of brass nails that the cowboy boot maker would use or the factory would use, and you can just notice those things. This is the original outsole. So there's lots of life left in this boot. So that's the Tony Llama 6210. Again, you can find this boot everywhere, pretty much. eBay, Poshmark, Facebook Marketplace, you can find this boot. This is a very popular used boot. A lot of you guys will ask me, what is the best, cheapest boot? And I'm always gonna answer, the best, cheapest boot is one that you buy secondhand that's made well. So this one is the perfect example. It's a US made, Tony Llama, which can be resold several times. It still has its original sole on it. The leather in this boot will reform and break into your foot. I know a lot of you guys might feel a little bit uneasy about wearing a boot that's already broken into somebody else's foot, but the beautiful thing about leather is that it continues to break in. So it will re-break in to your foot rather than being permanently broken into somebody else's foot. Is it going to be perfect to your foot? Maybe not necessarily, but it can re-break in to some extent. Now, some of the stretches here, down here, like where it's stretched over the welt a little bit, that's not going to break in. But the hard leather insole, this leather will reshape to the form of your foot. And there are some other things, depending on what your foot is like, that will break in on the vamp as well. So, secondhand boots are a great option, and this Tony Llama 6210 is a great option as well. It's probably coming in between 20 and $70 online in various places, and I would say it's worth it at all of those price points. Of course, the cheaper the better, right? But <laughs> this is still a great boot to have, and it's going to last you years, if you buy it with the original outsoles. Let me know what you think of the Tony Llama 6210 down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome cowboy boot content and music content as well. And I will see you next time. Peace. Have a good one, everybody. Those older Tony Llamas can be your friend. Just look at this 6210. What you got in your bargain bin They can last you years if you let them, yeah Thank you for watching today, my name is Jeremiah Craig I'll see you next time But only if you subscribe down below You're the best, have a great day